Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Mermaid Faith. And yes, you heard right, it's Mermaid Faith. But for today, I am just going to give a overview of everything that's going to be on my channel. Um, I will probably set up a schedule of what I will be posting, um, kind of like by week of what I will be posting about. But for today, we're just going to go on an overview of everything. So this channel is going to be about mostly about animals. So if you love animals, then you can just already click subscribe, sub subscribe. I can't talk apparently, so don't mind that part. But as for that, I will be doing horse videos of how to properly ride and horse etiquette or how to perform with your horse better. I will also be showing exotic animals. I do have exotics that I will be showing either how to take care of or just honestly like how they function with people and how people need to know that exotics are fine as pets. And probably as you can tell some mermaid stuff since it is summer I will have plenty of mermaid stuff as soon as it is warm enough to swim because of course I'm a mermaid after all. <laughs> So anyways, let's get down to business. Today is obviously Independence Day, so I am rocking my awesome headband and I am sitting in front of my flag. So let's get into the introductions of all the stuff that you want to see. First to interview is a very shy young man. His name is Miles. I've had him since he was probably about yay big, and he doesn't know what he is. Um, he thinks he's a person, but he's really not. He's going to play in my hair because it soothes him to play with mom's hair. Miles, you got to get out of my hair, dude. So, as we can tell, this is Miles. He's a very sweet little boy. Oh, wow, he is loving the camera action going on here. And we will move on to our next interview. For our next interview, we have Marshall. She is a darling red and tan bearded dragon. She is not fully grown. She's only roughly about six months. And as like Miles, she does love hair. She loves to cuddle, which most people would find very weird for a lizard. But bearded dragons are actually extremely affectionate. And they will cuddle with you if you want to watch a movie or come to their name. And they love to be hand fed. They're extremely spoiled. So this is Marshall. She doesn't really like cameras that much. She kind of just likes to glare because she thinks she's better than everyone. So I can't help anything there. And next on our interview list is my darling little fur baby, Gobi. I've had her since she was five weeks old. And most people don't know or don't really listen to what I say of her name. Her name is Gobi, G-O-B-Y, because she was born with webbed toes and she wasn't supposed to be. So she's kind of like a little fish dog, so that's why her name's Gobi. Gobi, come up here, it's your turn. Up! Okay, so this is Gobi. She uh, doesn't understand what we're doing at all because she's kind of a space cadet most of the time. Gobi, smile, hun. So, she is a uh, Rottweiler boxer mix and she is extremely smart but not the brightest at the same time. She goes to work with me and takes care of children with me. But yet, she doesn't really comprehend that there's a phone in my hand and I'm trying to take pictures of you. We'll just say she's not photogenic. That'll be just an easier summary of what's going on here. Next on our interview list is Grizz, who is very photogenic. He loves to take pictures and he loves to sit with people like he's a person, even though he's not. Grizz is a registered miniature lab. They're trying to make a new breed of lab, just a lot smaller. And he is actually trying to be trained to be a hunting dog right now. But as you can tell, he is just pretty much a lap dog. That's all he's good for. But he's a smart little dude. 
And as for the new addition to the family, this is Coda. He is a purebred Queensland healer. He is not very photogenic either. He likes to be special most of the time. But obviously he's an adorable little puppy. And so he just had to be interviewed anyway. Oh my god guys, I just had to get this shot while I'm going to our last one we're going to interview. But just look at how majestical my hair looks right now in the wind. It's pretty bomb diggity. And for our last interview, we have Pearl. She's got fly mask on so you can't see her eyeballs right now. But she's beautiful anyway even with her eyeballs covered. She's very photogenic. She loves the camera so she'll probably try to kiss it. Awkward soul. So anyways, for all of my horse or equine um, videos for showing etiquette, it will probably be with Pearl back there. Her name is Black Pearl after the Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't ask me why they named her that, but it's cute anyway because she's a solid black horse, I guess. And I guess the most thing that's going to be on this is horses, so thought Pearl deserved to be last and final for her big bang of being interviewed on this channel, I guess. Oh my god, they're already shooting the cannon next door and it's only like 5 o'clock. It's not even dark yet, but yet they're already shooting the cannon. Why are you already shooting the cannon, guys? It's not dark. And I have animals that think that they're like space cadets right now because of all the bangs going off. Okay, I definitely lied. I love to watch that cannon go off, but I was not prepared for putting animals away. Struggles are real. I'm trying to run for it. Okay, now that all that's settled, and I'm finally done running for my life, that was officially all the interviews of the animals that I have, and I thought that for since this is the first video for my channel, I would go over some of the basics for horses. Um, I'll definitely go more into it in my next video, but for now, I would just like to go over a person's um, basics for owning a horse or for even just being around horses. And if you're going to um, go to an arena and go ride a horse or if you're going on a trip that involves um, riding horses around the scenery, you definitely need to make sure that you wear um, closed toes or it, boots are the best. But I mean, not everybody or people who live in the city can wear boots. So definitely anything that is a hard toe or at least closed toed. So that way if you do get stepped on, um, it doesn't like pop a toenail off or like break your toe as easily or even just bruise your foot. I have wore tennis shoes before and they actually have ripped my toenail off with tennis shoes. So I would definitely still want boots or Romeos, anything that's hard toed, um, but definitely not like sandals or anything ridiculous like that. And um, second would definitely be to wear pants. Pants are very important because when you're going um, riding, your legs are actually going to rub against the saddle and depending on what kind of saddle it is, the fender might actually rub your knee or if it has um, silver on it or any type of bling um, it will definitely um, scratch your leg up pretty good. I had some silver on one saddle and it sliced my leg pretty nicely open I guess and that was even with pants um, but that was just because someone had broke the silver and bent it the wrong direction but it wasn't hard. It was just a little scratch. But definitely if I wasn't wearing pants, it probably would have gashed my leg. That would have been really scary. Second isn't as important attire since we're starting from the bottom and working your way up. Um, shirts, it's definitely nicer to wear at least a short sleeve shirt or like um, long sleeves are the best. Definitely if you're going to be showing or be in an arena that you don't know or going on trails with horses because when you're brushing up against things kind of like when you go hiking and you have to wear pants because you don't know about the plants you're walking through they could be um, poison ivy or something that will make your skin irritated it's the same thing when you're riding through brush and your arms are going to be brushing against them 
it's um it'll just get irritating but it's also just nicer when you're saddling a horse up or doing stuff with your horse when you have stuff rubbing on you or touching your arms and stuff that way your arms are protected um, if you're just going into a arena or going on a already um, I guess not really paved trail but a trail that someone has already kind of beat down already then short sleeve or tank tops would be okay but I only wear tank tops normally if I'm in my own arena because I just feel comfortable in my own arena and then short sleeves are probably my go-to because I don't really go on that many trails that aren't already um, have a path through them I would definitely wear long sleeves though if I'm just gonna go to a trail that I've never been on and having to go through brush or even just go through water would definitely be a benefit to people and the last and final thing that everybody needs if especially if you're under 18 you need a helmet it doesn't matter if it is a bike helmet or even just like one of those little foam ones that you get for free from like the I think if I think some um, police or fire stations give them out for free for kids who ride bikes um, I've seen people ride in like ridiculous like um, biker helmets and stuff I mean you don't need that much protection but definitely anybody under 18 needs a helmet it is actually in most arenas it is a law that you have to because it's it's just like a vehicle and you need to be safe because I know a lot of people who have been racing their horses or even on trails and a horse gets scared and if they wouldn't have had their helmet on they probably would have either been in a concussion or definitely have cracked their skull open because I've seen helmets break directly in half but the person was fine so the helmet is the number one priority if you don't if you can't find anything else if you're going to ride horses that you don't trust or even if you've never rode a horse and you're going to go on a horse you need to have a helmet it is the number one most important thing probably besides boots boots are definitely number two because you need something to cover your feet because i've definitely broke toe but helmet is number important because you're head is what is holding all of your brain and you need something to protect it <sighs> that was so much words for so long maybe I talk too much or maybe it was just good info I guess you can make that decision so please if you want to see these animals again and learn about horses and about animals in general um, or even just once in a while see some really freaking cool mermaid pictures and videos then definitely hit the subscribe button because this is going to be an awesome channel that I feel like a lot of people will enjoy. So uh, subscribe or if I guess if you don't want to subscribe just hit subscribe anyway because it'll, it'll just be fine guys. It'll be perfect. <laughs> Ew, I have like a major double chin from down here. Hit the subscribe button. Do it. Okay, guys. Bye.